Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people like to welcome you all to the show. Now, today, I'm highly upset, and it's due to the picture that is accompanying this podcast. I'm upset because there's a, a new store open on Fry Road in Katy, Texas. It's a Valero. And on the door, they posted a picture of two juveniles, black juveniles, African-Americans. And it said, theft alert. Watch out for these thieves. Watch your belongings. Right. As if these, they look like they could be between 10 and 12. Right. As if these two young men are out terrorizing a whole city. <laughs> city of Katy, Cyprus, Houston. Right. Now, in the photo, it and it, it didn't have any uh inscriptions on what was taken. Right. If they were even caught stealing, and the picture didn't show them putting anything in their pockets. Right. And it led me to believe that why create this propaganda? So when people walk in the store, because it was it was plastered on the front door, right when you walk up to the door and you, you put your hand on the, the door handle to open the door, there's their picture. All right. And people coming in the store shaking their head like, oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. But what they're doing is putting a image in your mind that these young black males are thieves or a threat. This happened right after Dan Patrick falsely claimed that unvaccinated African Americans were the cause of the rise and the spread of COVID. Right. Now, what about the vaccinated that's catching COVID? You're going to blame that on black people as well, right? Global warming. Our population is growing, so we, I guess we'd call it global warming too, right? What about the drought that's happening in the West? Uh, we, 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 we athletes, so we drink a lot of water, so therefore there's less water on the planet. That's the, that's the kind of ideology ignorant Dan Patrick has. I cannot believe someone this idiotic holds a post, a title called the Lieutenant Governor of Texas. Ridiculous. He put paranoia, propaganda, and fear into the community, into the city, into the state of Texas in regards to black people, i.e. African Americans. And I'm still waiting to hear for his withdrawal. Right? We want him out. ASAP as soon as possible. We want him out. Get rid of him. That's the equivalent to yelling fire in a crowded theater. No sooner as after that happened, what took place? Black people are being ridiculed. Racism has came to a uh, fever pitch. I walk in the store at the store and see, matter of fact, someone called me and told me they couldn't believe what they saw. I had to go see it for myself and I went and took a picture of it picture of two young black men in the store and under the caption they called them thieves and then they said beware of these thieves now these juveniles that, don't you know when a crime is committed and it's on uh, in the media they brought out the faces of the juvenile because they juvenile to protect their identity see what Dan Patrick did and, and what racism and what white racism does and what white supremacy does 
is it leads total disrespect towards black people. And they try to make it all right. It's okay. It's okay to plaster two black boys on front of your store because there's so much disdain and hate to where who cares if they're juvenile? They have no rights. I can just say you stole. Right. If they stole, you didn't you, you didn't make a citizens in arrest. You didn't have the date and what they stole uh right there for people can see. How do we know these two boys? How do we know it's even it was even in your store? How do we know somebody didn't come and tape that to your store window to create and cause hysteria and propaganda? The reason why I'm doing this show, black people, is to say it's time to start fighting back. Right? If you love yourself and you love your children, anytime you see something that's not right, that leaves a bad taste in your mouth, speak out, say something. Don't just sit there and take it. Because they think that we're so disunited that they can do anything in regards to us and no one will stand up on our behalf. Right? Or the proper response will never meet uh never would never equal out to the injustice that was done. The proper response would never equal out, right? Example. On Dan Patrick again. The proper response is not to say uh his words were misguided, uh, you know, he shouldn't say any things as such of that nature and you know, yeah, we understand that. But the response is resign. We want you to step down. You totally disrespected a large uh, tax-paying base, uh, a large population of the state. You disrespected them, so you can't be trusted with the office of lieutenant governor. So step down. See, that's a response. With this uh, posting of these two children, I went in and snatched that picture off the door. You don't shame base juveniles. Now, the owner of this store might be from another country. And and they might don't know the laws, all the laws that govern this state in America, right? So they have to be made aware of the law. It's up to us to make them aware of it. You, you this it's up it's up to it's up to us who patronize that store to go in there and say, hey man, what the hell are you doing? Hey lady, what the hell are you doing? Why you got these two young black men picture? Po- they stole from my store. Says who? Says you? Right, but they still. Right? What was it in, in what was it in terms of value? Right? Is this a fair punishment to try and embarrass them as juveniles when they go to school in that area? And if something like this happens in your community and you see this in a juveniles, black people you go tell it on man, take that shit down. Hell, much as you are all stealing from black people. Hell, you you stole our style, stole the music, stole our recipes for that good cooking, stole our uh, sweat equity, me and our labor and built this country. You know, it gets me, especially when I see other ethnic races walking around but they hid in the sky is like if they better when we know your history too. You know. But I'm just saying, man, I'm 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 really, you know, this racism in this it's it's reaching the point to where it's it it, it can't even justify itself. Everybody's fed up, everybody's tired. Right. Now with the uh, far right and far left 
clashing in Portland. That's understandable. That's understandable. That's going to happen. You know, uh, one's trying to relive the 1800s, right? And then the other one is trying to push an agenda that's so far out there to where there's, there's going to be clashes. It's going to clash. Right? One's too liberal and one's too far right. One's too far left. One's too far right. And when they meet, they'll be fighting in the middle. That's just what it is. Black people, whoo, you know, uh, it's a new day. See, they never wanted the humble black people. They never wanted the respectful black person. Because by you being humble and being respectful, having morals, and being upright, right? they take offense to that. Because what you're saying is you better than they are because they can't be that. They can't live up to your moral expectations. So the best thing they can try to do is harass you and harm you and try to pull you down in the gutter with them. Right? But they don't want that either. You feel me? They they don't they think they want that, but you don't want that. Right. We function better on high, it's true. Because we've been there before and we know subconsciously how ugly it is. So we fight every day not to go back there, right? But when that switch click and we have to go back there, you don't want that. Right. You don't want that that's earth shattering. That's shocking all. That's we not gonna stop. We not gonna get off your behind. You know, you pushed and pushed, pushed and pushed, pushed and pushed. You want the beast, pushing and pushing. Then when the beast come out, it's too late to. Okay, we don't want the beast. Okay, we didn't know. We sorry. Can can we all just get along? It's too late then. So the best thing right now, while we can, while we all still have our sanity, is find a way to coexist. Without the bullshit. Furrow Pick Radio. Reminding you. To go check out Black's Journey. It's on Flexnet TV. Which is a black owned independent network. Uh, it's, it's competing. It's rivalry is with Hulu. Netflix. Uh, Apple TV. You got to check out Flexnet. Oh uh, man it has a wonderful programming. It's done it's it's organized it's uh it's everything uh that you'd want in the streaming provider so make sure you you check them out f l e x n e t t v and also you can check out black's journey on v c m films dot gum road dot com and gum road is spelled g u m r o a d dot com v c m films dot gum road dot com check out black's journey thank you for your support uh, oh, Cash App is the uh, Cash Sign V E R B A L P I C Radio. Verbal Pick Radio. We're out.